All right, it is 11 to 15. Donde del Merito, All Saints Day. Say Donde del Yeah, Day of the Dead. Okay, so hence uh, all the skulls I saw earlier this morning. I don't see any skulls in here, but we're going to go over the quiz first, which is not, not a skull and crossbones kind of thing. Um, write the hyphen and symbol notation for an isotope of magnesium with a mass of 26.0 AMUs. And the hyphen notation is just MG, the abbreviation for magnesium, followed by the mass. So that is hyphen notation. Uh, in chemistry, we, we work with a couple different things where there are different notations for writing something. That just means how you write it. So when we get into electron configurations, there are three notations you'll learn. The notation is just the means that you're using to write it. That's the hyphen notation. The symbol notation takes the symbol and puts in the top corner the mass and in the bottom corner the atomic number. Okay, And that mass and that atomic number should be the same size. If you were doing those, well, there's really no way to do them in a dock because you can't have a subscript and a superscript directly above one another. So you almost would have to use like word art to do it. Uh, but that's hyphen notation, symbol notation. Now, of course, the irritating thing is that they both use the symbol, which means you just kind of have to remember that symbol notation also involves the atomic number. It has that extra piece. OK, same thing, hyphen and symbol for isotope of sodium with a mass of 24. So we would have. Na24 and 2411 Na. Okay. If you kind of visualize this as a box, it looks like this. There is some other information that can go here, but we don't we aren't talking about that yet. But if you if you visualize for symbol notation that that's sort of this setup of a little five-part box. Um, there is actually information that fits in those other places. Okay, for the next one, this is, this is the piece that um, historically, I will say, people struggle with a little bit. So remember that symbol notation gives you the mass. So, you know, what's the mass of C12? 12 AMUs. What's the mass of P31? 31 AMUs. Um, also remember that the atomic mass, <clears throat> so atomic mass minus protons gives you the number of neutrons. So that's, that's the big piece there. And remember that as long as we're talking about neutral atoms, and we are so far, we have not started to talk about charged atoms yet, protons is always going to be equal to electrons. So in that first piece of the table, P31 has an atomic mass of 31 AMUs. It has 15 protons. How do we know it has 15 protons? Because we go look up P. We go look up phosphorus. Um, if it's got a mass of 31 and it's got 15 protons, it must have 16 neutrons. And if it is electrically neutral with 15 protons, it must have 15 electrons. mass, protons, neutrons, oops, electrons. Okay, so in the next one, I didn't give you the symbol. What I gave you was the mass and the number of electrons. To figure out the blanks, this is kind of like a logic puzzle, you have to say, okay, well, protons and electrons are going to be the same. This is going to be 16 because it's neutral. If it's got 16 protons, I can go look on my periodic table and I can tell you that that's sulfur because sulfur has 16 protons. So sulfur has an atomic number of 16. 
If we do the math and subtract the number of protons from the number from the atomic mass, we get 19 neutrons. The symbol notation for this, of course, is going to have the mass in it, so it's S-35. And you guys did, on average, I think I would say surprise, better than average, better than an average year. Okay, the last one, you were given the number of protons and the number of neutrons, so 8 and 10. Well, the 8 gives you the identity. It tells you that this has got to be oxygen. And the 8 plus 10 gives you the mass, so it tells you that this is oxygen 18. And because we have 8 protons, we know we have to have 8 electrons if this thing is going to be electrically neutral. Okay. The last question, number 12, what differentiates two isotopes of a given element from one another? There are two possible answers. A few of you actually gave me both, which is awesome. So you can say that the number of neutrons differentiate. Well, the most common answer, the first answer, is the mass, which is true. Um, the mass of two isotopes is what distinguishes them from one another. What causes them to have different masses? That they have different numbers of neutrons. So both of those are correct answers. It's nice if you can say them both. So, Questions, comments, or concerns on this? Okay.